God was a, was a big thing and church was a big deal for my family because of my mom. My name is Gabe. To me, God was just kind of like a, like in church, it was just like a, like a ritual. I think when I was like 18, I met like a, a friend at church. He would help me, I guess, get drugs. I think I did it every day for, I don't know, like four months. I would go to church high. Like I was still going to church actively because I had to, not because I wanted to. Eventually my friend, he moved away. So I couldn't get drugs anymore. I didn't leave my house at one point for eight months. My sister, um, Jen, I had her birthday. And so we did a little party at the house and um, I was introduced to, uh, to three of her friends. They encouraged me to, uh, to go back to church. I started going back. I was helping with like everything at church and I, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And I did it for like the best of reasons. I did it, you know, for God. Towards the end of 2016, which is when all this was happening, I started to feel really weird. Finally, I had my first job. I had, um, I had just bought my first car. I was getting about to get into a relationship with a girl. I felt my life was perfect. I genuinely felt like, wow, like, this is what, you know, this is like, this is godliness right here. I started to get like chest pain and I would just put it off like, oh, it's probably my asthma acting up because it's getting colder. The sweating, the chest pain, the back pain, struggling to talk, it just got progressively worse. Everything came back inconclusive, didn't know what it was. I saw an oncologist and she said like, I, I know you, you just turned 21 and the last thing you want to hear is this, but you have cancer. I had, you know, like 20 tumors combined between my neck and my chest. When I finally went to do my first session of chemo, I was just like walking into this new place with new people and I was just beyond terrified. I think that's when I, I really felt like, oh man, like I, I'm, I'm a cancer patient, like this is for real. I'm responding very, very well to treatment. And I think after 14 weeks, um, my girlfriend broke up with me. That just like set me over the edge and um, and I, I gave up mentally. The one thing my doctor told me not to do is like, don't give up in your head. I didn't get up for two days and I developed a fever. And a fever for a cancer patient is like either dying or you're like, you're near death. In that moment, the way my head was and how I had pushed away even from God, I was okay with just it being it. It was a, a week of absolute like hell and torture in the hospital. But, you know, my family and my friends, they, they really pulled me out of it. I finished chemo, just one last session. And then I went into um, radiation. And on the final week, I got the news that my, my aunt, the aunt I'm closest to, had just died of cancer. Like that just felt like, no, like there's no way. I'm not going back to church. And I did it. I was hanging with like daily drinkers and just like smokers, like potheads. I felt better there, just like drinking and smoking problems away, I guess. And like that sadness I felt and that betrayal and the guilt, especially the guilt of just surviving. It was, it was time for me to, you know, to finally get a new car. My sister, you know, offered to help me out on two conditions. I would stop drinking and I would go to church every Sunday. And so I felt like, oh, as soon as I got the car, I just won't go to church anymore. And the car didn't come for like 10 weeks, but from the moment I started coming to those 10 weeks, the middle was probably the most crucial part of my life. The people from Faith were just different than anything I'd ever experienced before. They were welcoming, sure, but I think the one thing that they took an interest in that no one ever had before was uh, pushing me in my relationship with God. And it's crazy to think that even though I knew this was great and different, I wasn't taking it all that seriously because even uh, after I, I joined the um, Young Adult Intensive, up until the fourth week, I was still drinking. It's just all these encouraging people around me and all these friends that I made that are already, after this short time, already family. It just made me want to give that up. My, my prayer life with God definitely changed. It became more like a conversation. My family life, definitely way better. And I started feeling more encouraged about life in general. But I always knew, like in the back of my mind, he would never leave me. And he would always be there for me when I would, when I would get back. And I know that's his promise to me. I don't think I've ever felt this close to him and grateful than, than I am right now in this moment.